what is going on everybody welcome back to a brand new video in today's video this is going to be a manipulation school episode number three and today's video will be focusing on blending now in today's video we're going to be using three images and trying to blend them all together these images being uh, a photo of a car here that we already have uh, pen tooled out just to save us the hassle um, a sky background and a city background. The main focus of today's video is just going to be showing you guys how to match colors, make proper compositions and perspectives so that your images will blend together realistically. And we are going to be doing some things that look a little bit unrealistic, but it's going to make the final product look a lot nicer and just more saturated and nice to look at. I've also brought along a lighting flare just here and a small sparkle to put on the car to make it sort of shine a little bit more. But without further ado, let's jump straight into the tutorial. Okay, so first things off, we have our car asset here. And the first thing that we're going to need to do, obviously, is pen tool out the actual parts of the car that uh, we want to be in the image. So we need to get rid of this background. Uh, the, fore the foreground needs to stay, obviously. Uh, we just need to get rid of the background. So everything pretty much on this horizon line needs to go. Everything under the car, the windows, everything like that, they all need to go. So we've got our layer mask that I set up earlier, we're just going to quickly get rid of this little part here. And that's exactly how we want it to look, we've got rid of all the windows, everything like that in between. So now what we need to do is set up our background and as you guys saw in here, it, everything behind the car is blurred so we're going to need to blur all the background and everything like that to fit the perspective. Alrighty so first things first, we're just going to make sure the composition is still looking alright. I was in a bit of a tilt, so we'll just bring that up a bit so that you can sort of see the water ridge line. Just probably cross just like that. That's looking nice. Okay, so first things first, we want this sky to come over with the city. So first thing we want to do is grab out our background eraser tool, and we're just going to select anywhere up here in the gray and just erase down lightly just like this and that will leave a light sort of gradient um, an orange sort of gradient here which is fine we don't want it completely gone we want to keep the orange gradient to sort of fit with the sky so now that this is done we're going to grab our image of the sky and we're going to put that one below the city as you guys can see it has a nice light orange gradient coming from the bottom upwards and that just makes everything blend a little bit nicer we're just going to position this in a way that it would look nice with the city and still positioned well. I think here is about right and now we're going to unhide our image of the car and that is looking pretty nice. Now one thing that I did notice about the car is that the windows at the back here are much darker. Same in the corner here and at the front there is a little bit of sort of uh, lighting glare on it. So we need to fix that up to make it look realistic. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to grab a brush that is on like a light sort of orange very light and we're going to create a layer beneath the car doesn't matter what brush you use anything that you can just sort of fill this area behind the car just like that and behind here and then we're just going to put that on a light opacity so it sort of seems like a windshield there and then we're going to do the same thing on the back here except we're going to use a black brush and we're going to bring that down just like that so it is a little bit darker and that's pretty much all we're going to do for the windows something nice and simple but still looks realistic now we're going to get onto the lighting of the car, matching it with the background. Alrighty, so to start things off, what we're going to do is we're going to grab a photo filter and we're actually going to put that above everything, just on an orange 25 density, the default of a photo filter. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our selected color. We're going to bring that down to the car and then hold Alt the clip onto the car. We're going to go down to our uh, magentas here because most of the car is like red, sort of uh, dark magenta sort of colors. So what we're going to do is we're just going to mess around with these. Now when using selective color, depending on what you guys are trying to achieve, pretty much just go through every single color and play with the shaders until it looks realistic. Alrighty, that is already looking much nicer. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to add a exposure layer and we're going to turn that one down quite a bit and then we're going to clip that with alt back onto our layer and then we're going to go control i and then with a white brush on our 
uh, layer mask here. We're just going to paint the bottom parts of the car here. Just like this. Painting the bottom parts of the car, not the asphalt. We don't want the asphalt painted. I'm just going to paint the bottom of the car around the back here. All the parts that wouldn't be receiving as much light. So there we go. And then we might just go to FX blending options and just play around with our blend diff sliders. So we'll go to the underlying layer, hold Alt, split the slider. And just turn down our lights a little bit more we go about halfway alrighty guys so now we're going to work on uh, adding some highlights to the car to match the back of the background so we're going to go to our adjustments and then grab a hue and saturation click that on using alt yet again and then we're going to colorize down the bottom here and we're just going to grab a orange to yellowish sort of color up the saturation quite a bit and up the lightness so it's looking something like that and then we're going to control i grab out a white brush and on the layer mask we're just going to paint over the edges of the car here Alrighty, so that is looking good. So now what we're going to do is going to create another layer and we're going to be using a white brush this time and put it out on an overlay blending mode and just go over what we just did but more finely on the edges. Alrighty, that is looking good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some layers to the background. So I'm going to put that below the car here and just chuck that uh, around where we want to create the sunlight around here. And then we're going to grab another orange brush and we're going to put some just little dots around the place like this. And then put that on a screen mode. I'm just going to down the opacity a little bit more. Then we're going to go above the car this time and put two more in the same position and put that on the screen yet again. I raise a little bit more off the top here so that it's more just going over the top of the car like this. And maybe just put one on the side a little bit. Raise a little bit on the side. And yeah, that is starting to look really nice. Now what we're going to do is quickly add another exposure layer and we're going to put that towards the back of the asphalt to create depth. Alrighty, now that the background is looking quite nice, what we're going to do is just merge these two with Control J. I'm going to create a duplicate just in case. So we'll put these two on a folder, hide that, and now what we're going to do here is make sure the uh, file is uh, the layer is rasterized, and then go filter, blur, lens blur, and then anything that is sort of around the radius of 13, maybe a little bit more. Put it on a square. Just pretty much copy these settings and then click OK. That will create a blur and then sometimes there'll be a little like a white box uh, blur around the outside. All you gotta do is just drag that a little bit further out and that will fix your problem. Readjust the composition. And there we go, that has fixed up our perspective problem that we had before. And now this is starting to come together really nicely. We'll bring our lighting flare just a little bit over here, make it a bit bigger so and yeah so that is pretty much done just for the basic lighting uh parts 
We're just going to add a little sparkle on top of the car here. Just on one of the edges like so, just to make it look like it's a little bit nicer. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to grab everything holding shift and then clicking the bottom shift, let go. And then once we've grouped it all up, we're going to go control, alt, shift, E. Now from here, we're going to go filter and camera raw. We're going to play around with the sliders a bit and see what we can create. Alrighty, so there we go. So that is pretty much the finished product there, guys. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video and it did help you guys out a little bit. Make sure to leave a like and a comment on the video and what else you guys would like to see. But anyway, it's been your boy Jordan and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace and I'm out.